You know, today I wanted to talk to you about the games that I've played, I already completed the main story, but I didn't get 100% of them. But there are games worth playing, and I just wanted to share my thoughts today really quick on these games that I've played and I've already completed and I'm going to return. Uh, but let's get started now. So the first game here is Raiden 3 X Mikado Maniacs. And I have played this on the PS5. And of course, it's just a remake of Raiden 3. Got 26 trophies so far. We can just go over what trophies I've got. So the trophy list is pretty hard here. It has like, you know, 44 trophies. Uh, and then the trophies that are, you know, professional. Well, let's go by, let's do a filter here really quick. By rarity, yeah, ultra rare to common. So we go down here. So mission one is easy, of course. Rescue the fairy, you know, easier or higher. Level boss one destroyed. The boss was fine, except you got to do it in normal mode. You can't do it in easy mode. Boss meets bomb. You can use uh, any level and you just finish the boss that you're playing with a bomb. So level two boss destroyed. Just to uh, destroy the level two boss. Point collector. I got $100,000. $100,000. 100,000 game points. Bombs away. Destroy more than 12 enemies at once with one bomb, which is great. Full burst. Full upgrade with main weapons. Up and comer. Clear level one about being hit. Thought that was pretty... I was lucky there because... With the problem with these shoot 'em ups, they're shmups that you don't know what direction you gotta stay focused on exactly where you're gonna be hit. You can't go practice mode either because practice mode is the easiest mode where you can't, like, you know, you can't, uh, you won't, the enemies don't shoot at you, so they excluded that. It has to be easier or higher. So you still have to be careful where you're gonna be, you know, where an enemy is gonna be trying to fire you from. So level three boss destroyed, you get a one up quick shooting master so you just got to keep firing uh, and then unyielding fighting spirit you clear any level while using no ships and no bombs you can do practice mode with that uh level four boss destroyed uh accumulate seven bombs you use them all at once just go to options you can change it high score level five boss destroyed um a thousand meteorites so that's accumulated uh and then level six level seven boss destroyed and that's it really because these other ones are really hard but yeah level seven is the end and once you finish that you're done with the game so but you have to get this in normal mode or higher so finish that basically that's a summary of right in three x mikado maniacs uh and then the next game here we have is let me go to it. It's on the bottom here. It's a uh, match point. It's a tennis game. I know people are saying, oh, tennis game. Don't really like sports games. But tennis actually fun to play. Virtual tennis, top spin. Those were good games. This game, though, is okay. It's different, the controls, than, let's say, a top spin or a virtual tennis. You have to aim exactly with your analog stick here before you uh, before you actually make the shot, which is kind of, you got to get used to it after a while. But then, let's go down here. So, let's get zero double faults during match. Yeah, fine, denied. Come back from break point to win a game. Ace of aces, get three aces in a game, fine. Good eye, complete the tutorial, of course. Smooth, get five or less unforced errors. Win a match in career, which was... Kind of tedious at first because you gotta get used to the controls. So, uh, and then defeat an opponent in straight sets in career. That was after once you got you got accustomed uh, to controls, it was easy to play. I see you learn all the strengths because during the game, it will it will uh, note all the strengths and weaknesses of your opponent, uh, and then reach the hundred top a hundred. The problem with this game is, whenever I saved the game and got out and got back in, it didn't save. So you have to start all over again your career which is annoying it happened to me twice so i don't know if it's a bug in the system or the ps5 or something but they gotta get that fixed so 
there was, I got these trophies. It's just that I get to start my career all over again. I was getting frustrated. I'm like, I'm already done with this game. So yeah, if they get that bug fix, this game is great, but I don't know. Whenever I played it, it was, uh, it didn't save your career, which was annoying. So I could have gotten eventually like a grand slam or get ranked number one in the career, but no, it didn't save. So, so again, that's match point. Press my career, tennis, whatever. Let it's okay, know. but if they want to fix the save, we better. Uh, and then the next game here we have is Instant Sports Plus. Instant Sports Plus is right here. Uh, basically, just mini games. They're about seven. No, no, no. I'm sorry. There are like 20, 20 mini games. So you just have to. You get. When you first start the game, you get the, you get the, um, this, uh, gosh, it's getting in my mind. You get this net where you catch insects, catch five of them and you get a trophy. Then play every sport, you get a gold. So you play every 20 sport, at least once, doesn't matter. As long as go into easy mode and you can get that trophy. Insect collector, just catch 50 of those insects with your uh, net. Curiosity for fish, eat five fish, five fishes. And you get the, uh, the fishing pole for 150 points, you can get the fishes. Then catch 100 insects, get uh, for minerals, get a pick fork or a shovel. And then you'll be able to get that. You know, catch 50 fish, pretty straightforward. Uh, fish 100 fishes, get your gold trophy. There's some other stuff here that I haven't had time because it's a lot of tedious, you know. But overall, the game is fine, you know, kind of like a shovelware, actually. But again, it's Instant Sports Plus for that one. And then the fourth game I'm playing right now, it is this, Gigantus. Dino Kart. So Gigantosaurus, sorry I was interrupted there, but yeah, Gigantosaurus Dino Kart by Outright Games. You should play this if you like kart racing games. All these were interlibrary loans, but yeah. So again, this is really fun if you like kart racing, like Mario Kart and, si and Sonic. So yeah, I recommend this game. And then I have a few more games to play. I'm going to do some more uh we have here we love katamari reroll and royal reverie I'm gonna be playing that i'm still playing lego 2k drive i have here vertigo uh, alfred hitchcock and then uh in nightmare so gonna be playing all those but yeah if you played any of these four games what did you think of them and like of course again we have here Write in, has anyone played this? Has anyone played Gigantosaurus Dino Car, Instant Sports Plus, or Match Point? You probably would skip the tennis game because you're not really into sports, but if you like Virtua Tennis, you know, you'll like this game. You just gotta get used to the uh, pointer. You have to use your analog stick to point, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to share my thoughts on uh, these games. I got right now interrupted again, but yeah, thanks for uh viewing my video here i'm gonna be making like all varieties of these as well if you like them but i think it's because you know I, i'm also playing current gen systems i like to get my thoughts on them and that's about all thanks again for watching and please let me know if you played these games or recommend any other new games physically that i can borrow or maybe purchase eventually all right thanks very much and take care